trainer said something about uh, Tally getting up to hijinks in the lounge. Let's see. Oh, this is the other lounge, I guess. Oh, let's speak to Ashley while we're here. I, I can't get that place out of my head. Oh, yeah? The whole thing was so calculated, using hope to lure people to their deaths, or worse. I can't understand it. And, you know, I'm glad I can't. It makes me feel human. All right. Just wondering what the refugees do now. You can go someplace else. I thought I'd heard of everything. Man. Man. Hard to believe what was down there. Wow, there's a lot of lines here that don't say much. Commander. Ashley. Anyone here? Nope. Anyone here? Nope. Ah, uh, Tally Zora. How are you? Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. Uh, how are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. I can't get him to face the right angle. It's getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect jeans and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. There we go, that's a good angle. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Shepard's looking around like, hmm, do I want to be here for this conversation? Ah. Don't ah me. You sound like a vulture. How dare you? I'm so your you commanding officer. Self and Miranda fighting your father. I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for What's Shepard looking at? Doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? I mean, whenever you want, I guess. The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need to help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kila Solai. Cheers. That was some good dialogue. You gotta give him credit for that. Well done, writers. Let's see what uh, Liara has to say about all this. Hello. Anything? Nope. Anything? Nope. How's Miranda? Ah, she's fine. She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Mm-hmm. Feel free to look around. I usually do. see what Garrus has to say. Yeah, oh, there you are. What do you got? Word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. Yay. Every scrap of good news we can get. Indeed. I wish I had more, though. Why? What do you mean, why? A tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. Hmm. That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? I mean, look at if what we're gambling on. I can't see them. 
It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? I feel great. This all has to be taking a toll. It's nothing I haven't seen before. True, but not like this. It's Sovereign times a thousand. And Sovereign was way scarier we'll than this. We'll win now. Sovereign was way more of a threat than what we're dealing with here. This is goofy by comparison to Sovereign. Downright goofy. What does Javik think of all this? to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. <laughs> you like her. Drunk tally, best tally. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me too. This conversation is over. Looks familiar. I've been studying this The old ship. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Uh, you know me. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Ah. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. Are they the reason you wish to continue living? Sure. My crew has become my family. We stared death in the face more times than I can count. Things like that bind people together in ways I can't really explain. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. It's a mini Prothean beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see you go through all that. If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale. Oh yeah, everyone's heard of that. Mm -hmm. The palisades of the Verum Angelic. It was magnificent. But then. What is oh it? no! The Reapers came. <laughs> Listen to Shepard say, what is it? What else could it be, dude? You okay? Such a dummy, Shep. I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It's captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. Mm-hmm. But sent them against me. That's what happens. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. You were getting so, trolled. I had no idea. Trolled I by the Reapers. The Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. You named the battle after a whole nebula? Slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That must have been. It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Yeah, but I mean. Then you, you might not be here to play this game with us. How morose. Well. I 
guess let's get ourselves back to the Citadel, right? I don't know if there's anything left to do. Other than that. Yeah, this, this bit. Once we launch that mission, I'm pretty sure we're on a uh, collision course with the end of the game. I mean, and there's like little bits of stuff that's still out here, but I'm not really fussed to go look for it, if I'm honest. Let's return to the Citadel. First, we'll go to the regular docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Let's check in at the Spectre office. Did you need something from me? Urgently. Human, I must speak to you on behalf of my people. Really? What is it? Holding sorrow. The Kuna. And we've been there. My home world. The Reapers have come. You noticed, did you? Sorrow. Our warriors are under siege, but your forces can rescue them. Urgently, please. All the other races have turned us aside. How do your people fight? Proudly, with I like how Shepard is actually assessing them for their military value. ...into battle mounted on their backs. Mixed pride and shame, our enemies have called us living tanks. As well as names less flattering. I'll take the Normandy as soon as we have time. What is Shepard looking at? He's like looking below him. Small hope. Perhaps we can evacuate some of our civilians when your forces arrive. Anxiously, I will remain here for news. Please hurry. The Kuna burns. How very classically Elcor. So we do have an extra thing. We have to go do some Elcor extraction at Dakuna. But first, what is in here? Let's see if there's any uh, items to be purchased. Hmm. Nothing that I really want. I mean, I have plenty of cash, so it's, it's not really a much of a point to holding on to it either, but... That's right, Dan Allers from the SSV Shasta. Talavi has requested a transfer to a unit actively engaged against Reaper hostiles. That's the girl that doesn't want to fight Cerberus because her bro went Cerberus. Here. Go get yourself killed fighting the Reapers. I'm fine with it. I'm okay with that. Anyway. Moving on. Somebody wanted some Cerberus ciphers, right? Was it you? Yep. Here you You're go. Intel, right? I found these encryption codes Cerberus the codes or something or other. I thought they might be helpful. I'm pretty sure I've never spoken to that guy or heard what he had to say, but that's how these missions go in this game. Let's go see what that uh, traumatized Asari has to say. This is to the uh, end of her story. Hopefully. I don't know how much longer her story goes on. The prisoners were indoctrinated. I think. And once the alarm was sounded, Naira's eyes were black. The whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. The humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics, flung them around. I've been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but gods, I ripped them in half. And it felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush during battle. I might have killed more than Naira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them. And I yeah, what you did was a mercy by comparison. Let's uh, go leave this room 
and come back so we can hopefully get the next segment of the uh, story. There's nothing else here, is there? In the hospital? No, just Jacob. Still standing there at reception, I guess. Yep, there he is. Anything else, or are we done here? The Asari from Chip Tree. Do we need to go anywhere else? I don't think so, right? Let's uh, go back to the Normandy and go get whatever we need to get from Dakuna. Not sure where Dakuna is exactly. And this is uh, Private Talavi here. This is the person that got uh, transferred to fight Reapers. She may change her mind about whether that was really a good thing or not, but you never know. Anyway, if she was fighting her brother while fighting Cerberus, how would she know? She probably wouldn't. Let's see, where is the Elcor homeworld? I have no idea, actually. Kind of feel like it's here, maybe? Not up here. But like in one of these. Maybe the Celia Nebula? I think it's here. I just looked it up. It's actually... Yeah, Fontes. It's up here. I guess we have a do to go to it and then do a thing, right? What do we have to do here? Scan it, I guess? Dakuna. What were we supposed to do there? Did we already do the thing that they wanted us to do? Maybe we just have to leave and come back and talk to that Elcor dude? All right, there's nothing there, is there? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, get out of here, Reapers. You don't scare me. I'm back to here, I guess. I guess if we go back to the Citadel, the guy should just accept whatever it is we were supposed to have picked up. Let's see. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? To the embassies. Yes, Commander. Let's see what he has to say now, if anything. We got your people off to Kuna, Ambassador. Hooray! He's looking straight down. Evacuate any civilians. Yes. How many? Wow, that's the most emotion an Elcor has ever had in their voice. Let's check that uh, hospital again to see if the Asari has more to say. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. We tried to run again, but we were blocked. And the farm girl, her leg was broken, bleeding bad. Hmm. Knocked down a wall in a barn with a big war field. So proud of that and we hid they must have searched for you i'm gonna sorry huntress no damn husk is gonna find me unless i let it but the farm girl who was with you her leg was broken she was whimpering and in the ivory I, I saw her through a hole in the boards she was coming closer with those 
dead black eyes. And Hillary, the yep. farm girl. Joker's sister. Stop crying. They were gonna hear. What did you do? What do you think? Wow, this is sorry right here. Kill Joker's sister. I should kill you right now. It would give you peace. How dare you kill my pilot sister? It's just rude. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. That's the conclusion, I guess, of that story. I don't know if there's like an epilogue or something if you come back again. But there it is. Can I, uh, I guess I can from in there, right there. That's fine. No more messages here. Commander. Trainer. Okay. Well, I guess we'll call that one there. It's a bit of a shorter stream, but uh, we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. And uh, in the next stream, we will go for the Citadel DLC and complete it. Uh, until then, take it easy. I'll catch you next time.